Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. Today we're here to tell you why in 2020 you should be capturing all of your smartphone photography in the raw. Let's get to it. So, Joe, what is a raw file? Well, to tell you what a raw file is, it's probably best to explain to you what a JPG file is. A JPG is going to be the most popular file type for photography, and it is what's known as a lossy file type. This simply means that the JPG file is just going to have the end image that your camera produces. It's not gonna have any information as far as your shutter speed, ISO, focus, exposure, none of that. And every time you edit your JPEG file, you're gonna lose just a little bit of that initial image quality. So, how can shooting in the raw help us? Now, we'll see a couple photos that I took this morning where I took the exact same photo, one raw and one JPEG. I then applied the same preset to both photos. You'll notice that the JPEGs look very blown out, whereas the RAW still look sort of underexposed. This is because with the little bit of editing that it was done to these photos, the JPEGs already start to blow out, whereas the RAWs maintain quality and you can edit them even further. You may be saying at this point, Joe, RAW files sound like something that is only available on traditional DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Well, that's where you're wrong. Many new smartphones in 2020 come standard with RAW file capturing capability. While this does not include Apple as of yet, if you are shooting on a Pixel or a Samsung that's come out in the last two years, chances are you can switch into RAW. I'll show you how to do that right now. Showing you how to do this on the trusty old Pixel 3. Just went into the camera app, went into the settings, flip between JPEG and RAW. If you're shooting on iPhone, unfortunately, RAW capture is not going to come standard. Your best option for capturing free RAW files is by using the Lightroom mobile app. The Lightroom mobile app will give you the capability to capture DNG files, which is just Adobe's version of RAW, and the app is free. For the purposes of this guide, I will be using the Beastcam app that is available on iPhone. We just did a review and tutorial for it, so check it out. I'll put the link right here. The reason that I'm choosing to use Beastcam on my iPhone is that it allows me to capture both JPEG files and RAW files. Just gonna show you how the magic happened. So, as I mentioned before, Beastcam allows you to switch between JPEG and RAW. You also can use HEIF, which I assume is similar to HVEC, which is just Apple's file type, but that's all really convoluted and you should just shoot in RAW. Another reason that I want to show you this is so I can explain some compositional tips and give you a neat tool. I'll go ahead and put the link up in the top right hand corner to our seven mobile photography composition tips, but I'll go ahead and take the time to explain a couple here. So as you can see the water running through the corner of the image kind of draws your eye towards the bridge and the 
what is straight on in front of you towards the sun also draws your eye towards the bridge. So the bridge is very obviously the subject of your photo. That's really what composition is all about. And as I mentioned, you should click on that link to get a little more information. Here, I'll explain the rule of thirds. So as you can see, I have the grid mode on on my BeastCam app. And if you'll notice on the bottom horizontal, the bridge is rested perfectly in line with that. That, according to the rule of thirds, is how effective composition is done. So, you're ready to get out there and capture raw files instead of JPEGs, right? At the very least, you should be. Go ahead and drop any questions you have down there about raw photography in the comments. We'd love to answer them for you. Go ahead and like this video. It definitely helps Photos with Phones out a lot. And go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with weekly mobile photography and videography content so that you can improve everything that comes out of your smartphone camera. See you in the next one.